um, with some of the things are, are the same, okay, but they've added some things, mm -hmm. okay, just to break some things apart, all right, detailing policy and procedure and what's required. And now a lot of things were in the old policy, it was simply the superintendent. Now it's either the superintendent, the superintendent has a, and his designee, or in certain aspects of it, the superintendent, the assistant superintendent, HR personnel director, okay, or the finance director. Right, can look into certain aspects of things. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell. Yes, this looks like a very comprehensive policy. Um, did anybody have any questions about it? Uh, yes, Ms. Eam? I, I, I apologize, I don't have a copy of them in front of me, but I did review them on the screen at home. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess one of my uh, uh, questions or uh, thoughts was that when they were listing all of the people that it applied to, mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if they, well, I didn't see, for instance, crossing guards, so I'm wondering if there should be some blanket statement that says, and or any and all employees who have any access to the kids or something. Well, it actually does say that. It, it does, does say that. I missed that. In specific areas, it says, um, for certain, the superintendent can order a background check on any employee or volunteer at any time. Okay. And so, so the crossing guards would be because I noticed if they have access to children. Yes, that's because the crossing guards is not mm -hmm. on there. And then the other question I had, and I don't know if this is the right spot for it, but was we actually were touching on it before the meeting about social media. Um, I'm wondering if the social media should somewhere be because I have seen an awful lot of people get into trouble on social media just as a red flag to them if, if they ever read any of these policies, and I don't know that they do, but if they do, it would be a reminder to them that they need to be careful what they're doing on social media because the social media is public, and it's, it's very public. It's probably more public, more public than our policies, for sure. So I don't know, that was my other thought. That's Sir? something we can review. We can add that to the list. Mm -hmm. Well, it, is it... I think what Ms. Seam is asking is the background investigation and criminal records check, within the background investigation, is that part of an overall view into who we're hiring? We're not doing a social media check. Okay. You're not doing oh, a social media mic. check? No. no. We need your mic, Ms. Carey, sorry. Yeah, we're not doing the social media check right now. Mm -hmm. we're, the background check is, is separate. Mm -hmm. okay. But so, may I? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, guess I, I guess I'm instinctively thinking we should be doing a social media. Well, like when we hire, it's been a real problem because when we've hired during my time on the board, when we've found out the most about a candidate, it's been on social media. It has not been through recommendations or through, because obviously if I'm gonna give recommendations, I'm gonna give the ones that I know are positive. But on social media, you have no control. So you sometimes, I don't know, I, I found that it's most informative. It makes for some pretty interesting reading at times. And so I, I wonder, I would, I, at some point in time, I think that should be considered. We can look into that. Sure. And there was another thought that I had, too, if I can just get myself together. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we, you're talking about when you hire them. But after we hire them, is there some way that we, that if they get into trouble, it, it, like, like we've had, we've had, again, over the years, we've had people who, um, after they were hired, when they were hired, their record was clean. Mm -hmm. After they were hired, they got into trouble. How do we... How do we keep our finger on the pulse of that? Well, there are other policies that do say that if you do get into trouble, you are supposed to let us know. So that's, take, that's covered under other policies. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any comments or questions, Mr. Garino? Not at this time, no. Okay. Can I excuse me? <laughs> 
I'm sorry. And can I just one other question? There was a statement about foreign countries. If they act, I found that interesting. That if they actually have gotten into trouble in a foreign country, as opposed to in the United States, they have the uh, responsibility to let us know about that. Do, is there any way that, like in our country, obviously, is there any way you can follow that up, or there's no that would have to be volunteer unless you just somehow fell onto it. Right. If we discovered something or somebody let us know something, then we would do what we felt was the appropriate thing to do okay. at that time. Thank you. Well, I think that covers my that covers my thoughts. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's important that we hire the, the best people, and being able to look into their most comprehensive history is probably what everybody here wants to do. So do I want to make a motion? Yes, please. I make a motion that we approve policy Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Can you give me that? Then I don't have my papers with me. So. E, B, G, B, C, D. Thank you, Mr. Garino. You're I welcome. appreciate your, I appreciate your professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a motion to uh, send to the full board for approval policy G, B, C, D. I will second. On the motion, Ms. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Seem? Yes. Mr. Garino? Yes. <coughs> yes. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, the second motion that we have is a motion to, sorry, is uh, policy ICA, which is the school year school calendar, and it's just updated um, verbiage. Make a motion that we approve the school year cal calendar policy. Policy ICA. ICA. There you have it. Thank and you. So we have a motion to to send policy ICA to the full board to approval. Second. On the motion to send to the full board, uh, Ms. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Seem. Yes. Mr. Garino. Yes. Motion passes. The next policy that we're going to be looking at is policy FEA, and there have been um, a lot of updates to this one. Um, Mr. Parker, do you wanna tell us a little bit about educational specifications? Uh, it's basically about um, building new facilities and making sure um, that the specifications are laid out for what that new facility would mean. For instance, uh, the new middle school that hopefully will be constructed, you know, you need so many labs for science or mm -hmm. world language. You need a, wide, a media center space, mm -hmm. things like that. And so there was a more modern and more, I thought, streamlined policy and policy FA, mm -hmm. okay? That succinctly and more clearly just delineates what that process is. Okay. And it looks like we we got rid of <clears throat> a couple of paragraphs in there and made it more streamlined for what you're saying. Yes. Just to summarize what's in our packet. Right. And so the um, hopefully if we you vote to move this to the full uh, board, we would then rescind a much older policy. Mm -hmm. Policy. So what what are the there must be a place where we're getting most of this verbiage because it appears to be it appears to be pre-written you know it's obviously it sounds like an attorney wrote it to me but anyway <laughs> are we getting that from a certain district or a certain did uh, we get that from the New Hampshire right? school board if one of two things this was we either sometimes I approached a national school boards association because they up update sample policies, mm -hmm. okay? No policy should ever be written from scratch. It's really not necessary, mm -hmm. okay? So that's one way. Or another way, um, I have a PLC group of assistant superintendents from around this region, and sometimes we will email each other, do you have a, a policy you like about such and such? And then we can mix and match or pick and choose because all of those policies have been vetted legally Mm -hmm. So if you can take one piece and make it adapted to Nashville. Okay, that sure. sounds good. Thank you. Do you have any questions, Mr. Greeno? 
Uh, no, not really. It's just looks like it's updating the previous um, uh, previous uh, policy that we had. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we seem it seems to follow the same on along the same lines. It's just a few just few changes, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, that's correct. So I would be looking for a motion to send to the full board for approval policy <coughs> FEA. So moved. I'll second. Okay, on the motion to send to the full board, Ms. Bishop votes yes, Ms. Zeem? Yes. Mr. Garino? Yes. Motion passes. And then to follow that up, we would be looking at rescinding policy 12212, which is um, the more outdated version of this policy. So I, I move that we move that motion to the board. I'll second. On the motion to rescind or to send to the full board to be rescinded, uh, policy one two two one two. Miss Bishop votes yes. Miss Seem yes. Mr. Garino yes. Motion passes. <clears throat> okay. The next motion, uh, the next policy that we're looking at is policy F A, in regards to long range capital improvements planning. This is just an update, um, more streamlined verbiage. Do you guys have any questions? I make a motion that we move it to the full board for approval. I'll second. Okay. I, I do actually have one quick question. Yeah. It, it was previous to superintendent, but it's changed to other, uh, other people in administration. Was this, there a reason for that? Because this was what we currently do. Okay. And this this reflects what we actually do. What's in practice? Okay. That's right. Yep. That's right. And so um, again, and that was um, I met with uh, Dan Donovan over this, and so we want our policies to match our practice. <coughs> right, mm -hmm. So. And it makes sense. You wouldn't want. I mean, the superintendent is a bit, isn't always available, so you really need to have backup support system for the man, so that it makes sense. It's a Obviously, a good change. I, I second. Okay. So, on the motion to send to the full board for approval, policy FA, Ms. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Zeem? Yes. Mr. Garino? Yes. Motion passes. To follow up with that, we would be looking at rescinding policy 2260. So, nope, I went, I went too far ahead. Sorry. Uh, Rescinding policy one two two one zero. So moved. Second. On the motion to send to the full board to be rescinded, policy one two two one zero. Miss Bishop votes yes. Miss Seem yes. Mr. Garino yes. <clears throat> the next policy is policy E G A D, uh, which is updated. <clears throat> Updated policy in regards to copyright compliance. Mr. Parker, do you want to speak to this? It's just a more robust policy than the, what's currently on the books mm -hmm. that I hope we will rescind. Um, and it details a little bit more of um, what responsibilities the district has and does not have if a staff member violates copyright law. So mm -hmm. it's more robust because this in and of itself just says everything but nothing at all. Mm -hmm. you know, so a little bit more detail here. And uh, we wanted to originally rescind it, and I thought about it, and, says this, and I went to the NHSBC, and I really liked their wording, mm -hmm. right? And so um, their head of legal said, we don't have to have a policy, but you, you know, if somebody violates it, you're also violating not only the copyright laws, but General. workplace, mm -hmm. district. Mm -hmm district rule. So mm -hmm. we decided to just update it and make it a little bit more robust. Mm -hmm. So did I make that motion? I make a motion that we resend that policy? Move. Well, we're approving, approving AGAD, EGAD first. So I have to do that first. So I, I amend my motion to say that we, I make a motion that we forward for approval this new policy to the board. Okay. I'll second. 
Okay, on the motion to send to the full board for approval, policy EGAD. Ms. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Zeem? Yes. Mr. Garino? Yes. Motion passes. And now so I make a motion to rescind <laughs> the old policy. Policy 2260. Thank you. Second. On the motion to send to the full board to rescind policy 2260, Ms. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Zeem? Yes. Mr. Garino? Yes. Motion passes. And then we have two other ones um, that we're looking to rescind. Uh, first is policy 6510, large scale and long term rental of school facilities. We actually have stuff on the books about this, so this policy is a bit redundant. Um, and also looking to rescind policy 12250, equipment and furniture, new facilities. For the same reasons? Yep. Okay. So I make a motion that we forward it to the board for approval. To be rescinded. Rescind. Did that wrong, didn't I? Okay. I have it written down, so I don't know. I, okay, you I make only a motion sound and I'll say amen. <laughs> yes, Mr. Parker? I just want to add elements of both of these. Oh, can you turn your mic on? Elements of both of these policies. I believe it's policy KF, which we mm -hmm. updated in the spring. Yep. In As we spring. were opening up the buildings. Right. And so we updated this that outlines this in a much cleaner fashion. Mm -hmm. cleaner fashion. Okay. So. Okay. so, Ms. Seem, Mr. Carino. I'll second rescinding policy 6510. And policy 12250. And, and policy 12250. We're doing it all in one motion. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Because we're not. Um, yep. I so. will. I will second that motion. So on the motion to send to the full board to be rescinded, policy 6510 and 12250, Ms. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Seem? Yes. Mr. Garino? Yes. Motion passes. So that was quick. I want to thank Ms. Carey for coming, even though you're not really a part of our, poli our policy committee, but I didn't know if um, other people were going to show up and have questions about that initial policy that we had reviewed about the background check. So mm -hmm. thank you for, for coming. I know you had a, a long, arduous day of traveling, but I appreciate you being here. Um, but I would be looking for a motion to... Thank you. Adjourn. Oh, I'd be looking for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll, I'll make second. That we adjourn. <laughs> okay, on the motion to adjourn, Ms. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Zeem. Yes. Mr. Garino. Yes. Motion passes. We are. This, I tried to stack it so we had a lot to do, but we keep going right through this. So we are adjourned at 619. Thank you. <laughs>